It is really surprising news. Oregon State has fired its head basketball coach. Not surprising because of the record on the court, which has not been great, but rather because just over a month ago, the school said publicly that Robinson would stay. Oregon State Athletic Director Bob DeCarolis sent out what will become an infamous letter of support for Craig Robinson on March 28th, saying that he looked forward to watching Robinson bring the program success. That lasted five and a half weeks. DeCarolis changed his mind and fired Robinson this morning. Robinson was 94 and 105 in six seasons as Oregon State's head coach and has only finished in the top half of the conference once. He is, however, the fourth winningest coach in school history. But the big question is why now? Why, after giving a vote of confidence, do you fire your coach a week later? Our Stephen Nelson is live on Oregon State's campus at this moment. Stephen, you were at Bob DeCarolis' press conference earlier today. What changed for him since that letter of support on March 28th? Well, Jake, a lot more has changed than one would think. In just the last three weeks, Eric Moreland declared for the NBA draft. House Cook announced his intent to transfer, and Charlie Barton left the program. Those three departures cemented Bob DeCarolis' change of heart. DeCarolis said his initial diagnosis, his initial support of Robinson, was tied to his friendship, and it left him with a desire to keep him around. But after much consideration, DeCarolis decided that the program and its fans needed more than just a desire. It needed success. I wanted it to happen for him, for those players, for this institution, for all those loyal beavers out there. And so I think in my evaluation at the first part of it, I was looking through it through orange color glasses. And as I pulled myself away after I had made the decision and just went back and reevaluated all those thoughts, I was, I was coming to a different place. Robinson is owed $4.2 million in change, and that amount will be paid to him through the duration of his current contract, which runs through 2017. It will not be paid in one big lump sum. Jake? Now, for Oregon State, a lot of names have been thrown out there today. What's the process for Bob DeCarolis? Well, DeCarolis said today at his press conference that he hasn't yet reached out to candidates. And something that was interesting is that he twice said that he would ask the media to help him conduct the search. At this point in time, I think the best search firm are, are you people out there because we're getting a lot of people giving us calls and names. And so that's a great place to start. Um, so I don't anticipate using a search firm at this point in time. If it gets out of control and crazy, we might look at that. But... I think we can handle this one ourselves. It is hard to tell if the careless was kidding or not. I don't know how much you or I would be of help to a coaching search, but a couple names to consider as for potential Robinson replacements. Montana head coach Wayne Tinkle, Arizona assistant and former Portland Trailblazer Damon Stoudemire, and ex-UCLA coach and Lebanon, Oregon assistant Ben Howland. Reporting live outside Gill Coliseum, I'm Stephen Nelson, KEZI 9 Sports. Former Beavers reacted on Twitter today. Joe Burton tweeted, hate to see this happen, and he's a great coach and an even better person. Thanks again, Coach Craig Robinson. That's his handle. Beaver legend A.C. Green chimed in. I was surprised as much as anyone with the firing of Coach Robinson from Oregon State. Coach, thanks for helping mold young boys into manhood. I spoke on the phone to former Beaver Roberto Nelson, who said that he talked to Craig Robinson personally earlier today. You know, one thing about Coach Rock, he's always worried about everybody else. I mean, he puts himself second, and that's the kind of person he is, and that's why I love him. You know, when I talked to him about, about the whole situation, you know, he was down about it and because he loves Beaver Nation so much. But the first thing that came out of his mind was he was really worried about the assistant because now, I mean, they may not be able to find jobs, and they're really good coaches.